advertisers, management, staff, or ownership of WCTC. Good morning, apartment. Good morning, doorway. Morning, wall. Morning, ceiling. Good morning, floor. Ready to start the day. Welcome to Jersey Central with Burt Barron. Weekday mornings from 6 to 9 on the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey. This is the show where Jersey matters. From politics to entertainment, from social issues to lifestyles, from newsmakers to pop culture. If it's Jersey, it's on Jersey Central with Burt Barron. I meant to do that. On the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey. It is 709. Welcome to our number two of Jersey Central on this Monday morning on the new Talk Radio WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey. It is Burt Barron. We do have our contest coming up a bit later this morning. Pair of tickets for you to go to the Throwback Bash at the PNC Bank Arts Center in Homedale on September 13th uh, with Rick Springfield, Loverboy, and the Romantics who will be performing. And we'll include a bonus prize, something you can listen to on the way to the show, the brand-new CD from Bon Jovi called Burning Bridges, which is available now. All right, so we'll give away both prizes coming up a little bit later on this morning. Joining me now on the Raritan Bay Medical Center Jersey Newsmaker Hotline, uh, let's say good morning to Professor Richard Lowenthal with New Jersey City University, who is going to be conducting a very special show coming up on the evening of Thursday, September 10th. And, uh, Professor, welcome to WCTC. How you doing this morning? Good morning. Very good, thank you. Great to talk to you. A special uh, tribute show that's happening. It's a tribute to uh, jazz musician Clark Terry. Now, where do I know that name from, uh, Clark Terry? Well, Clark Terry probably is one of the, the great legendary trumpet flugelhorn players, composer, jazz educator. Played with uh, Charlie Barnett's band, Count Basie, Duke Ellington, and had his band called the Big Bad Band for many, many years. And also um, was really the first African American to be on a national TV orchestra, uh, studio orchestra, with The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. Wow, pretty significant. And we just lost him uh, earlier this year, I understand. Yeah, he died yeah. in February. Uh, he was 94 years old. He had been pretty sick for quite a while, um, was living in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. And, um, you know, uh, he just had, had stopped playing. But many people like uh, Quincy Jones and others went down to, you know, pay their respect to him. Uh, wow. Uh, Wheaton Marsalis brought the whole jazz at Lincoln Center Orchestra to his hospital, and they played in the hospital for him. Holy cow. Wow. Yeah. So obviously this guy was a big influence on a lot of the greats that uh, people get to experience today. Not only the greats, wow. but also on students all around the world. I mean, uh, I would be at Clark's house when he lived in Hallworth, and there'd be students over there. He he was teaching from his bed. You know, there'd be students to, to come and take a lesson. And it's very mm. special for us because he's appeared over five times at the school when it was Jersey City State College and now New Jersey City University. And he did something very unique with us. He went on tour with the, the college band, and we toured all around the state of New Jersey, and he brought his friend Chris Woods on alto and uh, lived on the bus with the students. And it was really like taking a seminar, a 24-7 seminar in, in jazz and in life, uh, you know, when he toured around with us. That's awesome. So the show is coming up. It's going to be a week from Thursday night at 6.30. Uh, a free concert happening in Jersey City. You're going to be conducting the Alumni Jazz Big Band, and uh, you're bringing in a very, very big guest star. You want to talk about that? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, there was very few people that, that we really could bring in that would honor the, the legacy of Clark and uh, that represents all the values that Clark had, and that would be Wynton Marsalis. And um, we started talking about doing this, and, and Winton said absolutely he would like to do this. And um, so he's coming in, and he will be there, as you said, on September 10th, uh, the concert, 6.30 to 8 o'clock. And um, he'll be playing music from Clark Terry's library. That's what we're going to be doing. And several of the students, which, of course, makes them pretty old, uh, the alumni students will be there, had actually been on that first tour mm -hmm. with Clark back in 1979 wow. when uh, he toured. But um, Winton's going to come in, and we'll do some of the music from Duke Ellington that Clark was featured with. 
and also, like I said, some of the music from Clark Terry's own band. And we'll also be doing the theme from the Johnny Carson show, which I guess a certain age group will recognize. Oh, of course, of course, right? <laughs> That's true. But it's a free show, uh, which is going to be at the Grundy Pier at Exchange Place in Jersey City. It gets underway at 630 and it's a great way to wrap up the Jersey City Sounds of Summer concert series, which has been uh, just terrific. And what a great way to go out. And uh, special guest Wynton Marsalis uh, will be performing on Thursday night, too. And it's a free show, so you have a chance to really see, uh, hear some great music and uh, and see some wonderful performers as well. And, uh, Professor, I also understand there's going to be a special award giving out, given out to uh, one of the musicians that night. Yes, uh, one of the former students who was on that tour in the late 70s, uh, Joe Pianczek, lives in uh, Maryland, and he called and, and we set up a meeting with President Sue Henderson, uh, who's a very big supporter of jazz. And in Clark's autobiography, he talks about that he didn't have enough money to buy a trumpet, so he took a metal tube and um, was blowing on that. So what Joe did is that he took about, oh, about an 18-inch uh, metal tube, really buffed it so it's very shiny and very beautiful, and um, he made 10 of them. So for the next 10 years, we'll be presenting uh, an award to an outstanding student, current student, who represents, again, the same values, uh, the same talent as Clark, and we'll be presenting that um, at that concert. Sounds like a great night. And again, if you want some more information, you can visit the uh, NJCU website, which is njcu.edu, uh, or you can call 201 200 200 3426. So public transportation. You could park in the area too. And again, it is a free concert open to the public, the tribute to Clark Terry. Uh, again, it's September 10th. It's a week from Thursday, beginning at 6 30 p.m. It'll be a, a terrific evening. Uh, no pressure conducting Witten Marsalis, uh, right, Professor? No sweat at all, right? <laughs> well, it should be a lot of fun. I mean, uh, um, you know, over the years I've conducted with a lot of greats, uh, but this will really be a very special concert. Uh, Clark was very special to the both of us. Uh, I used to play in Clark's own big band, uh, and, um, you know, both went and I feel that the, this will be very special to uh, honor Clark. Yeah, I'm sure it's going to be a great night. Well, thank you for your time uh, this morning on WCTC Radio, Professor, and, and have a good time uh, on September 10th, and, and thank you for keeping this timeless music alive. It really means a lot to a lot of people. Well, thank you for having me on. All right, my pleasure. Thank you. All right, my guest, the NJCU Professor Richard Lowe.